morning my attention has been drawn to the F8 hybrid and the reason it's been drawn to my attention is because on a lot of the videos that I've done of late I've done quite a few hybrid videos and a lot of people have asked have I tried the King Cobra F8 and the answer up until now would have been no but apart from the fact people have asked me have I tried it and suggesting it's very very good I've just seen it in the rack this morning and it's very very different in looks and I've got to admit my eye was drawn to it so here's a close-up of how the F8 looks first of all as I always say looks are very much um, a personal thing but for me this is a real change from the norm and I really like the look of this as you can see it's uh, it's a fairly lightish grey as is the shaft that I'm using in this which is the Rogue Pro S75 that's an Aldila shaft um, but again back to the head here it's got these sort of silver markings on the top and a cobra sign which clearly framed the ball quite nicely it's got the baffler rails on the bottom of this cobra and we've seen this for many many years now in the cobra um, fairways and hybrids and again it's cobra's claim about its versatility through all kinds of um, situation so whether that be from the tee from the rough from the fairway the baffler rails are supposed to be an assistance for us average golfers and that's something i'm going to try out on the course so the first thing i'm going to do we're going to move camera positions i'll hit some balls in here in the range we'll get some dry ball data but then i'm going to take this one out on the course i'm going to see how the club performs in these different situations with these baffler rails but for looks it's grabbed my attention how does it do in terms of performance Right, okay, so before we go on to hit some of these balls, let's talk about a couple of things that Cobra are suggesting are going to make this club perform particularly well in my hands. Um, first of all, this baffler rail system, it's been brought um, closer to centre and the gap has been reduced. Uh, and again, that's to produce greater stability uh, and less twist face through impact. So again, that'll be interesting to see if that happens out there on the course. Um, there's a stainless steel forge insert in the face. Once again, um, hoping for some nice feel and sound from that um, club face. And again, the aerodynamics are suggesting that we're gonna get some fast club head speed which will ultimately lead to additional distance with some hot ball speeds we will soon find out um, the one other point to mention cobra connect in the grip of these clubs again i think that's with all the f8 range um, so a great score tracking app if you're into that kind of thing to have a look back at your round and study where things are going wrong anyway that's enough said let's hit some balls inside the range and then we'll go out on the course and take a look. Okay, so we're outside on the course. We're at Carden Park, which is in the heart of Cheshire. It's about six, seven mile outside of Chester. Fantastic, two courses, Parkland courses, two very different courses as well. But we're here today to look at the King Cobra F8 baffler out on the course. This is the bit that interests me. Uh, and I said baffler, baffler technology in terms of these two grooves that we spoke about, raised bars, if you like, that on the sole of this club. And I'm interested in more so of lies such as this, what we've just had a look at. Planted a couple of balls, nestled down ish in the rough i certainly wouldn't be looking to take hybrid out of anything worse than that in terms of the lie but i'm just going to take these two shots and see just how the turf club interact whether i can notice any difference at all and how good of an impact i can make largely going to be down to how good of a swing i can make but for the purposes of science and trying to find out if baffler technology works these rails let's give this one a go There's nothing wrong with that strike um, if, if it came low off the face so I picked it up down the bottom end and in terms of 
the test that I'm looking to do in terms of picking out on the rough, out of the rough and the interaction, I can tell you absolutely zero. But I can tell you a positive, what I will say for the FAs is I can see where, let's see if we can get that in focus. Can we get that in focus? And you can see right down the bottom of the club face is where I got that ball. And it still managed to fire out there quite impressively because that was very low out the face. Let's see if I can make this one a bit more out the centre and a bit more interaction with that turf. Different golf shot altogether, really enjoyed that one. You can probably tell by the sound. And again, if we can get a bit of focus on there, it's a bit dark, this screen, but that one was right out the middle. Totally different strike. Could I tell you whether it interacted with the turf any good in terms of baffle rails? I don't know. What I can tell you was, absolutely superb uh, connection that I got there. And like I said, maybe more impressed with the first shot, which is a disappointing strike from me, but the ball still well and truly fired out there. But the second ball, absolutely bullet out of it. Okay, so next shot for the uh, Cobra F8 is off the tee. We're slight, into a slight breeze, but it's a perfect hole to try it on. Into the wind, tight par four, small fairway ideal club to go for the issue i'd have with this for me what i'm hitting so far this is 19 degrees that i don't start to balloon this one up into the air i'd like to see how powerful this ball flight is in my hands i tend to hit hybrids fairly high and in this conditions this is where they have a slight i don't particularly like gaming them for this one reason let's see how it performs before i be too negative It was a high ball flight, but it stayed very, very consistent. It was very solid. That's, again, once again, real solid strike. Love the sound out of the F8 as well, out here in the uh, in real conditions with real balls. It's, it really was. It was bang on the bunker line, and it never moved from it. I'll get a yardage as well on that, because that's travelled a fair old distance into that wind. Okay, so the next thing and final thing that I want to see, if possible, is whether or not this club can hit into greens and, in fact, hold them. From what I've seen so far, the way this ball takes off in terms of its uh, ball flight, the descent angle, it'll be low spin at a 19 degree club, but I still think this will hold greens. It's perfect for this kind of shot. I'm around 190, so I'm right at the limits here in terms of being able to reach. So I might have to move this forward a little bit on the second attempt. Let's see if we can go with this one first of all. Oh, it's right hand side of the green. Now I'll pick that up in terms of ball flight, but I got that on my eye and uh, it's right of the green, it's quite away from the flag, but I'm certainly happy with the strike. It was real pure, again, solid strike. Ball flight was very stable. I know for a fact that's pitched and landed within a very few, uh, a few foot of its pitch mark. And like I said, once again, really impressed with this club. I've got to say from all different kinds of positions, it does perform really, really well. I like this. So I'm going to leave it here for the uh, Cobra F8 Hybrid and I've got to say really really impressed with this and more impressed with it out on the course than I perhaps was uh, in, a, in a controlled environment off the mats at 4Golf. I'm going to throw out the data for the uh, for the dry ball data at the end and you can go through that um, at, y yourselves, you can make sense of that. Performed admirably, nothing wrong with it but it wasn't sort of uh, jumping out at me but I've got to say when I've, when I've got here out on the course and in the different positions that we talked about, so off the tee, from the fairway, and from the rough, in all of those situations, it performed really, really well indeed. Love what happened there on the green, it stopped very, very quickly. The greens are firm under foot here today at uh, Carden Park. So again, even more uh, impressed with the way that ball has come to rest. Um, 
from the rough it's hard to say about the baffler rails do they work or don't they the fact is they certainly didn't have a negative impact on the strike and uh, really impressed with the way that ball fired out in particularly obviously the, the second ball that I struck but overall like I said this gets a real thumbs up from me because a I love the look of it I think it's a real break from the norm in how it looks and I think it's stunning on my eye anyway sound and feel are really really good particularly again out on the course in real conditions and i cannot knock performance at all it was really really impressive so if you're in the market for a new hybrid well worth giving it a go but that's the opinion of just the average golfer so uh, take from it what you will comments down below thumbs up if you like the video subscribe if you don't already and that's me i'll see you soon